almost all athletic contests of which I know, there are lines drawn on the floor or on the field within which every participant must stay in order to compete. Well, the Lord has drawn lines of worthiness for those called to labor with him in this work. In this battle between good and evil, you cannot play for the adversary whenever temptation comes along and then expect to suit up for the Savior at temple and mission time as if nothing has happened. That, my young friends, you cannot do. God will not be mocked. Brethren, we speak boldly to you because anything more subtle doesn't seem to work. We speak boldly because Satan is a real being set on destroying you. And you face his influence at a younger and younger age. John, I'm really glad you took the time to come here today and share with me what you've shared. Now with the Savior's help, we can work through this. But can you imagine what it would have been like, how you would have felt if you had gone out on your mission not having taken these steps here today? No missionary can be unrepentant of sexual transgression or profane language or pornographic indulgence and then expect to challenge others to repent of those very things. You cannot do that. The Spirit will not be with you, and the words will choke in your throat as you speak them. You cannot travel down what Lehi called forbidden paths and expect to guide others to the straight and narrow one. It can't be done. This is a life and death contest we're in, young men. And so I'm going to get in your face a little, nose to nose, just enough fire to singe your eyebrows a little, the way coaches do when the game is close and victory means everything. And with the game on the line, what this coach is telling you is that to play in this match, some of you have to be more morally clean than you now are. So we need young men already on the team to stay on it and stop dribbling out of bounds just when you need to get in the game and play your hearts out. I am asking you young men to be active in the church and to be clean. If required, I am asking you to get active and get clean. I ask for a stronger and more devoted voice, a voice not only against evil and him who is the personification of it, but a voice for good, a voice for the gospel, a voice for God. Brethren of all ages, unbind your tongues and watch your words work wonders in the lives of those who are only kept from the truth because they know not where to find it. With all that there is to do along the path to eternal life, we need a lot more missionaries opening that gate and helping people through it. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Master, amen.